can. Happy day. What day is it? Friday. Peace, people. Peace. Peace. Hashtag peace. <laughs> anyway, how's everyone doing? Fabulous. Um, I went to bed so early last night. Whew. Anyway, it's all rainy and crappy here. That's all right. I did a shot a video and I put it on Serena's Sunrise, I believe. That's S O N Rise, by the way. I went to bed so early last night. So, is everyone happy today? 101. Let's think for a moment. Can we. <clears throat> okay, as the yogis and the gurus speak about um, meditation, and I forget the word, pra prama. What was it? I can't remember now. Scratch all that because I can't remember now. Um, anyway, if we can get to that place of, of, um, let me fix this. Of, um, dang it. Felicia? All right. We can get to that place um, in meditation, and those of you that don't meditate, what I'm getting at is into the point of two o two, to the point of silence. If we could silence our mind, right? Um, get to the place of comfort. I don't know. There's something about silencing the mind. Two o two two. Going within and realizing that if all of this is an illusion and none of it's real, I mean, even though we touch it, it's our mind. I'm going to totally botch this name, but... Shuna Murti, Murtri, Murti, Shuna Murtri, Shun, I don't know how to do it, so it's S-H-U-N-Y-A-M-U-R-T-I, yes, uh, teachings on Satya Yoga, um, I love listening to him because, um, He thinks more like I, or I like him. I'm assuming he's older than me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if all of this is an illusion, and we create our reality, we hear him talk about it. So if this is, and I'm being shown the matrix, If you were in a coma and you didn't know it, but you're left with your mind and no one knows because you're, you're asleep, right? Your body's alive, but you're asleep. It was just 411. This is information. <laughs> Come down the pipeline. So, <clears throat> and you're laying there in your mind. You could be living a whole life. If your mind believes something to be so, that's its reality. The human body will go there. 444. There were scientific studies done. As a matter of fact, it's in that movie, The Secret. They told a guy to run his race in his mind, and they hooked him up to all these things. And in his mind, 
he ran the race but do you know even though he was just sitting there every muscle and everything triggered five it was 505 triggered everything in his body the mechanics his muscles and everything like he was really running so see you can be just laying in your bed and if you did not know any different And I used to make jokes about this. What? So what if I'm in a sanitarium or something? Fucking strapped up against a wall. I don't know I'm there. In my mind, I'm everywhere else. What would it matter? It would not, would it? Because in your mind, you're living a life. In reality, your, bo five, 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 your body's just laying there. So, your body isn't just laying there and you're actually walking around. Then what could one do? Doesn't matter. What do you believe? What do you believe? You want to believe that, that there's a devil attacking you all the time? Your wish is my command. Then so be it. You want to think that you're a child of God. And it's fluffy unicorns and fairies and all kinds of cool shit. Your wish is my command. What reality do you want for your own human? This is what, this is what I, let's just break it down simply. What is it you want for your own human? Take everything out. If there's a God, a devil, a this, a that, even a neighbor, even a sister, even a, a brother, even a child, or a husband, or a wife. I just take it all away and say, you're the only one. In your reality, you are. Okay? In your, in your life, in your mind, your body, you're the only one. So, take everything else out. What is it you want in your life? What do you want to see in your life? What is most important to you? 727. Hmm? Well, let's say breaking away from our human, our ego. Is ego... An illusion as well? Do we make that up for a duality? For something to do because we're bored? What if we decided to just take everything we've thought, learned, loved, everything and just throw it out the window and start over? Start from scratch. And then build your life from that clean slate how does that look and if your brain matter your thoughts create things that we hold that we touch that we see let's start from a clean slate and start over we could do that at any time So today, I'm going to wipe my slate clean, dry erase board, wipe it off, and then write your coming attractions. Write what you want on your board, piece of paper, sticky notes you put in your car, on your mirrors, on your whatever. I used to do that shit. Love it. I have a big whiteboard and a little one. That's all I need. I don't leave this room. Yet. Much growing I'm doing here still. Okay? Because I can't be double-minded. You can't be double-minded. There can be no double-mindedness in this. In that 1001 is the time. Not the counter. God, these glasses are hurting my nose. 
when I wear a hat, it's hard to wear glasses. I need those little ones that have no, you know, that just sit on my little face. <laughs> Maybe a little monocular. Um, so we begin to decide. First, we have to make a decision. Do we want something better for our lives? First and foremost, this is what we do. If you want or live miserable. Honestly, I don't care. It's not my life. It's yours. One thing I do care about is I want everyone to be able to be and live how I am starting to live. From peace, from love, from joy. Love is all you need. But you too can erase your whiteboard, your chalkboard of your life. The past does not define you. What do I mean by that? I mean, the things that you did wrong in your past does not define who you are today, but yet it does. Because you're better today. But what I'm meaning by your past not defining you is you aren't that whatever, that drug addict. You aren't that alcoholic. You aren't that um, porn addiction. You aren't that sex addiction. You aren't that overeating, shoppingaholic, or just wanting to sit there and you won't get out of bed till you're crying and sad about your whole life. I got I, I used to do for my whole life. I did not know how to get out of that, but I wanted to. So I did what I could and I kept at it and it took years and years and years, but I kept at it and I kept at it and I didn't give up. Even when it looked like I was failing and I was falling and I was not doing right, I still didn't give up. I kept chugging along. Then the big question would be, is our life destined to be a certain way or can we change it? I don't know. I know you can change your life right now in this moment. You can make a decision. Um, I no longer want to have the thoughts of um, being separate from God. Now I want a relationship with God. What does that look like? How can I do that? I'm going to pray. And every time I think of something, I'm just going to say, God, thank you. Help me with this. Show me what I need to do. Letting go of everything you've learned up until this point and just wiping it all out. Go within. Because it's your player. This is your player. This meat suit is your player. Right? In this game of life. How do you want your game of life to be? Monopoly? Where there's one winner? Or where everybody wins and is happy and we live off this earth. Everything's provided for us. To be simple and happy. Shit's too complicated. I can't wait for all of this to be gone. Yes, even my fucking phones. Fucking bye, Felicia. I'm going to use it while I have it. Why not? That would be dumb not to. Only to get to things that are possible, that are not possible. Yeah, possible, I guess. That will help aid to talk to other people because right now I can't go anywhere. Word of mouth is on, the, on this. And you got to be careful. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Who cares? If they copy what you say, who cares? Unless they're chopping it up and they're doing it for evil and not for the way it's meant, how it came out of your mouth, and that's for good. Maybe they're doing it for monetary reasons. They're stealing your shit. They're making money on it, and you're not 
That's okay. What comes around goes back around. There's only one original. There's only one OG. People can talk and spread the word as much as they want. Let's not get it confused. People are getting, oh my God, you copycat me. Everybody copycats everybody if you think about it. If you learn one thing, we use that saying in another way. Everyone copycats. Some plagiarize. They'll be found out. That's all right. What do you do for money, honey? God knows your heart. Are our souls perfect before they enter into a vessel? Are we all born the same? Once we hit a, a, a human vessel, then we could take on sins of the world, right? Because now we're tangible. We're a thing. So we think. Right? Touch, hair, lips, addictions. Habit. See, nicotine is not addicting. I don't think. Well, I still have it, but you know, this is only 2.4%. I wouldn't know. I don't give a fuck about that. It's this. To my, shut up, hand to mouth. That's why my little square thing doesn't trick my brain enough. Because it's not, and this is even even round, right? But it's close enough. Just holding it sometimes is enough. It's the habit. Take the habit out of your mind. I stopped talking to somebody because, <clears throat> first of all, it did not respect my boundary. I do not want to text. Do not text me again. I've said it more than once. Text messages came through. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Call me. I'm not doing the text thing. And there's a reason for that in my own life. Because you never know who's on the other end of that. I don't care if they send you pictures. It could be anyone's pictures. People fucking breaking people's phone. Hack shit. My shit's been hacked forever. I don't give a fuck. Because in my world, I have a spiritual team. In my world, I'm a psychic. In my world, I'm a medium. In my world, I have superpowers beyond your, you can imagine the difference between myself and others I don't have the need to show that I don't care what the world thinks besides I don't gloat about it sometimes my human gloats but that's meant for a reason I'm working the game, okay? I'm not even gonna say, I popped in my head new levels, new devils. No, get out of my head, that's not, that's not it. Know thyself, know who's talking to you. Please, if you know who you are, you don't have to call on your ancestors. You don't have to call on, passed on loved ones. You don't have to call on anything. You just know that you know that you know what and who you are. What your role is. And who's the master. And your creator. Now your creator, some of you, may be in a lab. Oh yeah, there's clones. The way I see it, I'm a fucking robot anyway. Clone me. <laughs> My consciousness, if that's even a thing. 
is mine. I know for a fact I'm a robot. I have a robot vagina. No. No, for a fact, I don't know. But I have videotape of me going, all fucking weird. And then me standing up going, what the fuck was that? I've been reset. I've seen glitches. I've glitched. I've known when I've been reset or whatever the fuck they do. Give a fuck. Mm. How could she be a robot if she gave birth? Ooh. Now that's a good one, isn't it? They went from metal robots to, eh, 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 you know what I'm saying? And have evolved. <laughs> we are the evolution of AI, I suppose. So, well, you run your meat suit if you could break out of it. Mm. The consciousness had to be able to identify with its own nature. What do you, I mean by that? I'm not sure. It has to be able to identify that what it is, what it is in, it recognizes that. We call it human. What are you going to do with your human today? How would you like your human to live? If you like the money and the status and the, and the nice things and you're miserable every day, then you stay in that life. Maybe that's the balance. Maybe we need you kind of people. Makes the world go round? I don't know. You really think we're on a round, round, round globe? Where'd the water go? How would we flood? How could we, oh yeah, there's an atmosphere and there's this. Really? Really? You think so? I don't know. I was a young kid in school, grade school, and I remember them talking about the earth is round. I remember thinking, what the fuck? Maybe not the F word, but I don't know never really did. I've just always have thought differently. Way outside the box. I was blessed that way. These weren't things I had to learn. These were things that were just in me. I'm a lover. I was never shown what love is. Because it was conditional. I've always just been loved. Isn't that great? So all of us are love. I don't know. Are some just born evil? I think it's a choice. You know, people love the name we're not going to mention. Because with that, you get to have your pleasures of the flesh. So much fun, right? miserable because you get diseases and it's horrible and you're sad and these are the things of the world the one we don't name people love to follow but you're miserable isn't that great the, the flip side to that is I don't do drugs anymore and I'm happy I did drugs to escape what God my really true happiness running from myself are you really running you're running from the the god the 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 divine that's in you the holy spirit whatever your energy separation from god sin
can't run from you. You're always going to be there. So enjoy yourself. I love you. You love you. And you can change your life and your mind at any, any instant. At any instant. Be healthy. Be well. If you were to live to, say, 300 years old, do you want to live the way you're living right now? Some of you are like, fuck yeah, my life is great. I'm happy. I'm at peace. I have no cares in the world. Do that. But most people are not. They can't get past of being offended. Offended for what? Because you put yourself in a relationship you can't stand and now it's the other person's fault? Fuck you. Psh, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve everything you get because you're the problem. Nobody else is the problem. You're your own problem. So grow the fuck up. Do something about it. Or cry like a whiny baby somewhere the fuck else. Maybe we'll put you on a little island somewhere. No, stay the fuck off our island. <clears throat> I'm hoping there's a whole lot of people that will come to this conclusion. But from what I can tell already, maybe I'm just in the wrong places. Like Facebook, they just love misery there. If anyone talks any kind of sense at all, they get offended. They don't want it. Ba-ba. Got no time for that. Ba-ba. Well, Serena, they need you to... No, they don't want to hear. So you move on. You don't try to beat it in someone's says If they don't get it, okay, fuck you. I don't care what you think. Keep your opinion to yourself. I got to go. I'm not going to sit in and try to argue my opinion and your opinion. Who gives a fuck? We each have our own. Bye. Don't waste your time or energy on somebody and, and things that don't want to hear what you have to say. Ba ba, Felicia. Ba ba. Got to go. And I really got to go because this is a long time. Twenty-seven, twenty-two. Um, you guys have a wonderful evening. Evening. <laughs> Still daytime. Peace. I love you. Uh, namaste. And um, make a decision. Give your human and you. And your family and people around you the best life you can. All you can. <laughs>